Okay guys, back again with my round canvas and I will do a bit of a starburst on this one. So again, got two for one in one, one video, um, unless I decide to take it out. But anyway, anyhow, we will do my two, my two for, my two for one. So I'm just using up some leftover paint. So this was a magenta. I'm just going to use it on the very ends to basically go over the edges of this round canvas. Don't actually want the pink in the centre, but I do want nice bright colours for it to actually be a starburst or firework burst or something bright and uplifting. It's what I've wanted to do the last few days, bright and uplifting. So no exception, same again today. But I've done lots of other experimenting, so that's all good. Um, alrighty, I might use some of this, my favourite, the turquoise. Now, as I said, they're all um, Montmartre Studio acrylics. So this is a definite spiral. I wonder if I should try the canela is it canela where she does the um, flower presses on um but i didn't have much luck with that so i suppose this you know we all have our things that we like to do um but i do like experimenting so i'll just push on with this and see how it all goes so that was the nice turquoise i'm going to use this is the purple in the montmartre studio acrylics so I will just try and concentrate and do the circly bits. Woo! Okay, now I'll use some white white in there just want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel it I'm so happy and I'm so uh, stoked at the really kind remarks I get an encouragement um, to push on and um, keep going doing what I'm doing because um, there's lots of you enjoy it so and obviously if there's people that don't then that's it the move on to somebody else's channel that you do enjoy so there's plenty of us out there doing these uh, pouring videos I think there's I'm not sure if there's um, I know that there's myself and Julie Cutts Australian ladies that do it i'm not sure if there's and of course um michelle eckhart in uh, new zealand i'm not sure if there's any other australian girls that have got the channel up and running so if i'm wrong please correct me let me know and uh, i'll have a look in on your channel and we can um give you a shout out if if that's what you'd like I'm absolutely always happy to help anyone from any country give a shout out to their channel. Um, and if you're doing some good work, then obviously you'll get loads of followers too. Okay, people, what should I put in there for my... Should I go the bright yellow? Should I risk it for a Swiss kit? I'll go the bright yellow and actually that's quite thin. I've got another yellow there, so that's a little bit thicker. Got all these colours, I could do quite a big canvas with what I've got left over, so that's okay. I shall plod along and do some different styles. I'll do a yellow. I'm going to try and do the starburst. The starburst look, and I probably should use my Swifty Swipe. Or I could even try 
which I might try, give it one try. The um, silicon pastry brush is a good thing to swipe with, but it gives a completely different look. We just give it a try, just very gently, just tickle the paint. Don't press too hard in there. But with that yellow I've got in there and the turquoise, it's definitely going to turn green, as you see. Maybe I just do... No, that's too... That's too... Um, maybe those might look nice in between. Too spiky. This is my um, crudely made Swifty Swipe that I just put the soft plastic file divider on, cut in different styles uh, onto a spatula and then use it as such just to swipe but I did this one to swipe like it's good to swipe the whole thing I should make I have made a separate one before I just haven't got one made up to do smaller so I might use card actually or should I try the edge of my Starbursty pour. Oops, no, see that's way too going down into the paint too much there. Just try tickling, tickling the paint. Oh, I'll try it with card. See, this is my slices of card I've got in here somewhere, somewhere. Please, slices. Oh, there you go. Slices of card. I just have little bits of card that I've got out of packing or whatever I've got them out of. So we'll just try the card. So if you want to do something that's bright and uplifting, if, even if bright colours are not your thing, I can guarantee that doing them, bright colours, will always make you feel good. Well, they make me feel good and I know lots of people have said when they've looked at the very bright pores that they've done the same for them and what I should have absolutely done today is use my um, pottery spinning wheel because I could have just been turning this around so easy without actually touching my canvas so I should have done that but it's all good it's coming along I'm not sure whether I should put a different swipe colour in there and finish off with. Uh, well, that didn't go too good. Okay, it is going very green, isn't it? But I'm hoping that when I um, torch, that it all the nice colours will shine through. Now, should I? Should I? I might give that a... Um, a run, read, a run through with the skewer, doing some Priscilla, she, she does lots of interesting things with the skewer through paintings, oh, she does lots of interesting things, full stop, I'm not really, that's not really floating my boat either, okay, um, mm, mm, mm. should I try? Now if I put blue on top of the yellow, that'll go green. So, what, what, what? Maybe just white. If I stick with a bit of white, just try it, see how we go. Pull it through. Here's my card again. I'm just trying to do the areas that I haven't done. It's still very warm. We're having very humid weather because we've had a fair bit of rain here in Queensland. Um, so when the sun comes out after it's rained, it's really like a sauna. Um, 
temperature's not particularly high, 27. Um, I think that's Celsius, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but with the humidity, it feels very sticky. Very sticky. I think I'm going to leave a little bit of the sort of original, maybe. Or maybe I can do something interesting on those areas. Yeah, I was looking for gadgets today when I was out doing food shopping. I thought, what gadgets can I give my audience and, and myself a run for, you know, just testing the items, different items for swiping or pouring or... I've got a few items that I'm going to be testing in the next um, coming weeks. But you'll see those. So I'm going to get my lovely heat wand, my magic wand call it that so please don't google google magic wand because i've been told that it brings up something not like my magic wand but they're called a heat wand now again the australian supplier capriol shabby chic and the link is under there they have i believe they've got these in stock i think the brand brand is m o f a mofa mofa um heat tool in the u.s people have been buying them it's a heat embossing gun, uh, an embossing gun for cards, I believe. But they're great. No danger. Easy to use. Okay. It all starts to happen after the heat tool gets warms the paint up a bit, so it doesn't overly heat the paint or burn it, which is a really good thing. And obviously, if you're not very confident with a big um, butane torch, this is the perfect tool for you. The cells will continue to develop, but I don't want too much I'm going to just do a little bit of embellishment in the centre. Oh yeah. I've done just about everything on this particular, all my different tools and on this particular video, so why not the balloon embellishment in the centre? Oh, pretty. Oh my goodness, that is sweet. Hey, look at that. I know that would be really nice, wouldn't it? Just pressed onto another canvas. It's all good. That's sweet. Maybe if I go over these areas that I didn't, just to add a bit of point of interest. Now, you see that I'm normally I would hold the belly button of the balloon, but I'm doing it this way just to give it a another try. Um, I usually like to hold the belly button of the balloon. The belly button, yeah, that's what I call it. I mean, what do you call it? Okay, so that's pretty. Okay, pretty that's coming. So it's just, I just rolled off the edge there. Ooh, I like it. Maybe with not too much more is good. Is a good thing doing the different coloured swipes too. I like that. I'm going to leave it. I really am. I'm going to leave it. I like it. I like it. Okay. I'll give you a close-up I'll give you a close-up of the first one I did because it's actually turning out quite lovely it's a different look it's like an earthy ooh, earthy look should I say like and just with the balloon embellishment down that one side I know it doesn't look too good with my crazy um, dirty uh, cake cake um, cake cooler things but look at that that is beautiful that's really nice I when that's dry and has a coat of my pouring resin with the wipe on method that would be really lovely so guys there you go thank you so much for joining me look at that that is a stunner it's just bright and lovely 
And things like this, they sell really well because people look at them and think, oh, that makes, that's really nice and bright. Um, except the people that like dark stuff, I suppose. But um, this kind of thing I fi find is easy seller. So sometimes you've got to, might not be what you particularly like, but if you do want to sell your art pieces, then sometimes you have to sell for the market that you might attract. But it's always good doing lots of different things because there's different strokes for different folks. So thanks for joining me. Thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. And until next time for the next exciting episode, see you guys then. Bye for now.